Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Edison and uh, today I have a very interesting thing to show you and uh, uh, that is programming uh, STM32 uh, nuclear board or any board that you have uh, to print something to this LCD which is a uh, 16 by 2 LCD and uh, this is how I have connected to my nuclear board uh, VSS uh, is connected to ground VDD is connected to 5 volts v, v out is connected at the center pin of this potentiometer and uh, this one side of this is connected to uh, VCC and the other one is connected to ground uh, this potentiometer is basically to uh, uh, vary the contrast of the LCD and uh, we have also the RS pin and uh, read or write pin I have connected this directly to ground because I'm only uh, writing to the LCD and I have the enable pin uh, which is connected now to my uh, PB7 uh, D0 uh, to D7 are connected to PC0 to PC7 uh, the anode is connected to uh, VDD which is via 5 volts and the cathode is connected to uh, VSS yeah you can see from here they, they are connected and I'm going to uh, do this uh, using care and uh, I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to select my board uh, in my case the board that I'm using is a Nucleo F446RE so I'm gonna click on this this is the board that I'm using so I'm gonna say start project and I'm going to initialize all peripherals in their default mode well that is personal if you wanna do something else like say no and uh, configure your pins again it's up to you so um, this is the STM that two cube makes a per perspective and uh, I'll not be using the view start so I go to connectivity and disable my sat and uh, reset these pins so I'm not also going to use PA5 so I'm going to use port C for the data lines and uh, you have to name them uh, as follows so PC0 will have D0 uh, you configure them as output and uh, PC1 will take D1 PC2 will have a D2 PC3 will have D3 we go to PC4 uh, PC4 will have D4 PC5 will have D5 And uh, PC6 will also be connected to uh, D6. And uh, PC7 
will be connected to uh, D7 and uh, my RS pin is connected to PB5 RS and uh, my uh, enable pin is connected to PB7 so you name it E this is to make sure that uh, the name the labels are uh, compatible with the uh, the library that I'm going to use so I think we are all good yes so uh, project I'm going to name this as uh, uh, 16 uh, LCD 16 by 2 tutorial and uh, I'll be using MDK arm so generate your code then after the code is generated uh, open the project so my project is uh, located in this uh, path user user documents and cubemx so what I'm going to do is to add the libraries the LCD libraries to the project so I'm going to minimize that the libraries and uh, I'm going to open where my project is located uh, the project is in documents cubemx and uh, this is the LCD 16 by 2 and I go to call in the include I wanna drop this dot uh, h file so I'm going to copy and paste it here then from there I'm going to close that our project and uh, right click on this And I'm going to add existing files to the group. So I'll point to the .c file of the library. So it is in my uh, desktop, stmlcd, and copy and add. I'm going to add, so you can see it has been added. So then from there, open main.c, then, uh, just like it's my habit which is very important because i know i use these header files so I'm going to uh, include the stdio the standard input output and also i'm going to include string string dot h and also i'm going to include the uh, stdlib standard library lib dot h and uh, finally i'm going to include the header file for the lcd so it is stm my lcd 16 by 2 dot h so that is the name of the libraries let us first build the project to see whether there are any errors program has zero errors and two warnings so uh, the program has zero errors and zero warnings so 
from there i'm going to go to the main under the main function we have the includes and uh, i'm going to open this and uh, copy this function to initialize the lcd in 4-bit mode and i put it after i initialize the after this uh, gpio initializing function so i'm going to edit this this is the type def pointing to the port uh, where we have the rs and uh, a pin and uh, you can just have rs GPIO port so it is in port B where RS and uh, E enable pin are connected so these are the pins the port and the two pins RS pin we have the E pin and this is the type def for port where d4 d5 d6 and d7 are connected so i'm going to use uh, d4 gpio port so these are connected to the same port where d4 is connected so and the rest are the pins d4 pin and uh, D5 pin and D6 pin and D7 pin and uh, that's it so we go back to uh, the library and uh, copy this function to print something to the LCD I'll put it under the main under while loop so inside this function I'll pass uh, uh, what I want to be to what I want to print to the LCD so I can just type place don't please don't I just say please don't and uh, before I do that I want to clear the LCD zero two clear and uh what I give it a delay of one second one second which is equals to a thousand milliseconds so let us uh build this So I'm going to download uh, the code to the board that I'm using. So let us do that. You can see that uh, after downloading, this is what we have on the screen. So I'm going to reset the board, manual reset, and you can see that it has printed. Uh, Please don't. So I'm going to uh, show you something else about the LCD. We have these other functions. So you can also print something on the first line. So just come here and place that function there. So this tells the LCD that what comes next 
is supposed to be printed in the first line and uh, in the first line I wanna uh, print please don't and the second uh, line I wanna print something else so I go back to my library and copy this and also copy this and the second line I wanna print don't for don't forget I'll just say forget to subscribe subscribe there are these more than 16 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so just don't forget to subscribe so uh let's build our code you can see that you have no errors and uh, let us download to our board so you can see that uh, we have to reset our board so that you can see what will be printed so please don't forget to subscribe and yes don't forget to subscribe for these and more things to come thank you